welcome back. Today's video is going to be an all matte makeup tutorial because lately I've been playing with a lot of shimmer and it was about time to give you guys something matte. So this is completely matte. I don't even have highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. If you want just a little bit of highlighter, I think it's beautiful when you have just a little bit of glow right here. So feel free to do that. I just wanted to keep it all matte just because that's what you guys have been requesting from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I think it's a great look from day to night you can wear this. It's really versatile. Um, but before we get started, can we please talk about the hair? I know I just cut it even shorter. The plan was for me to grow it because I want my hair to be about this length, um, but I just keep cutting it. I wanted some texture. I wanted a little bit of layers. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Actually, a lot of you guys did snap me and that was really cute. So if you have Snapchat, add me at simply underscore Sona and you can snap me all you want. If you have any questions and stuff like that, snap away. All right, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and let's begin. Starting off with my foundation and today I'm using the Ultra HD Foundation by Makeup Forever and if you want to see a review please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to film that for you guys. For my concealer I'm actually going in with a highlighter instead and this is Light Boost by MAC applying it on the center of my face as well as my under eye area and then buffing it in place. Now you definitely want to set everything in place with a translucent powder and today I'm using the Makeup Forever HD powder. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and contour with a matte uh, palette. This is the Kat Von D palette and I'm using the lightest color on the high points of my cheeks and under my eyes and then somewhere around the middle from the bronzer colors I'm just gonna go ahead and start contouring. So contour is um, the usual on the hollows of your cheeks, jawline, sides of the nose and forehead. For my blush, I'm going in with this Buxom blush and I'm applying it on the apples of my cheeks. Now this is pretty opaque but I did apply several layers because I did want my blush to really stand out. We're going to go ahead and fill in the brows and brush them upwards and move on to the eyes. You want to grab a palette that's all matte and start with a color that's about two shades darker than your skin and apply that all over your lid. Next, we're going to apply an ivory color on the inner corners of the eye as well as the brow bone. This is really going to brighten up the eye as well as just open it up, make him look bigger. Now, to deepen this look and create a soft, smoky effect, we're going to use a dark gray color and apply this on the outer corners with a fluffy brush. And you want to blend this all the way in, but again, concentration always needs to be on the outer corners when you're using darker colors. Same applies on the bottom lash line. With a pencil brush, you want to really smoke it out and blend this color all the way. Now for me, I like to use a brown liner on the inner rim of my eye as well as on the outer corners of my eyes and really blend it so that it doesn't look like I have eyeliner, it just blends in with the shadow. And you want to apply several coats of mascara and move on to the lips. Now for me, I wanted to keep my lips natural and matte, so I'm going in with the new Matte Urban Decay collection. This is their fall collection, so I don't think it's out yet, but it's called 1993. And so I used the pencil all over and then I used the lipstick just on the outer corners because it's a little bit darker. And that's pretty much it. Now if you do want to make this a little bit more dramatic, you can apply false lashes. These are by EXO Beauty, which is Shannon's line, Shan EXO. And so I applied that really close to my lash line and the look is complete. Thanks a million for watching and if you liked the video, as usual, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share. I will see you guys very soon. Mwah. Hey guys, welcome back to Whoa, that was weird. All right, let's do this again. Today's video is going to be on some product recommendations for oily skin as well as acne prone skin. This is a highly requested video. I did a blog post a while back and I asked you guys what you wanna see and a lot of you wanted to see sort of a product recommendation or even a tutorial for acne prone skin.